is Brian here with OG Woodwork. We'll do a quick little demonstration of what we have going on with uh, trying to straighten out some boards here. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but it's, it's got a little bit of curve in it there. Um, got about four other boards right here. They've already uh, been straightened out, but just trying to show you the process of what we do. What I've got going on already, got a piece of ply down here, quarter inch, just no junk piece that's clean. Just wanted to make sure had a clean surface I'm working with, flat, uh, no glue or anything. So I've got a plain white towel here, trying to get something with no colors or no dyes in it, anything like that. And something you don't ever want to use again, as well as the iron. Make sure you're not going to be ironing your Sunday's finest with the one you're using out in your shop. So this process I kind of learned from pulling dents out of wood. Right now what I'm doing is I'm heating up the surface underneath here. Just to show y'all how this is reacting, I've got, this is probably around the old 1920s era. I kind of soaked the side down a little bit. Basically, just using straight water here. Rolling through, getting this thing wet. I've already sprayed it once, so it's soaked a little bit. So I'm wetting this, letting the water soak in a little bit. Just to show you how how bad this thing is you see where I've sprayed it over here and I mean it's just sucking that stuff right in so it's, it's been sitting in some weather uh, this thing looks like it's been sitting outside in a barn or in a basement somewhere for years it's not really have any major rot or anything it just it's been neglected um, there's a lot of quarter sawn oak on this it's all solid panels there's no ply so uh, we're going to try to straighten this out. Our only other option is to replace them, so I uh, figured uh, since we're here, we'll give it a shot, try to make this work. So you got your towel, you want to keep, keep the towel wet. I went ahead and soaked the towel a little bit before I started this, just to kind of get a little bit of heads up to make the process moving. Like I said, it's just straight water. Don't mix anything with it. Some woods will react differently to other chemicals or anything like that. So basically you're just running through heating this up you know it's probably about a quarter inch thick so it's not like we've got a big thick piece of wood or else we'd be taking a whole different process for this uh, and you know if this was some kind of ply or lamb that we would just replace it I wouldn't even attempt that so heating all of this up so the other other pieces I did a while back ago this one particular piece has has something glued to it there and I'm doing it separately but I'll show you one of the before and afters so we'll run this in get that baby hot now we'll have to say on the irons make sure you don't get one that has the safety crap on it you don't want that uh, and when you're trying to heat something up and it keeps kicking on and off, it's just a it's a headache. Who likes safety? There's going pretty good. Now some of these panels are split, and I mean you can even hear the stuff soaking the water in. It's starting to make noises as it's going along. But we're going to try to glue those back together. We're going to try to make everything as original as possible. We got all the hinges out of it. We saved all the screws. We're going to try to clean those up. Uh, this is more of a side project, just something to mess around with. Um, not something uh, I'm doing for a customer. It's for myself, so uh, it's okay to be a little bit brave on this one. That's basically it. We're just running through and heating this thing up there's that I'm going to heat this other side one more time just because we have this you see right there been our biggest hold up on getting this done the first time so uh, it's still pretty warm there but this thing is soaking up so much water as you can 
can see I've got some other pieces sitting around here that we've gracefully took apart and uh, had to glue some stuff back together on there. It's uh, basically by the time I found this thing, every bit of the finish had worn off of it, which is good for me. All I got to do is sand it and refinish it at this point. Hopefully, I just learned the hard way that it always uh, doesn't go that way. some leather work. Let's kind of use this process with a spoon if they, if they ever kind of get any dents or anything and leather or scratches that they want to try to pull out. Use a spoon, wait a little bit, heat it up, rub around through there, try to try to flatten it out. This is a process a good buddy of mine showed me here recently, so I'm pulling dents out of wood. So I took that and applied it elsewhere. Alright, here we go. It's nice and warm. It's hot. And that's it, letter set. Uh, this is one that split on us. We're gonna try to get it back together, but this one right here, I will throw a before picture in there, but kind of see how it turned out. It was, uh, this thing was bowed up pretty bad in the middle. I mean, it had a pretty hard cup on it. And that's where we're at now. So sometimes it's a slow going process, but it can be done. Give it a shot. I mean, like I said, our next process on this was just uh, replacing everything so might as well give it a shot you know all right y'all have a good day